Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the lag on iOS 18. So if you recently updated your iPhone to iOS 18, you might be experiencing lag in terms of the performance, maybe on your keyboard, whatever it is, you want to follow these steps to go ahead and fix that lag issue. So first thing you want to do is ensure that your phone is not on low power mode by going to your settings, and then you want to go into the battery option up here. And then where it says low power mode, you want to turn that off. And while you do turn that off, you want to make sure your phone is charged up to 20% or more. Ideally, you want it between 80 to 20. Sometimes when you update your phone, it's running a low battery, things are going to be limited. So that's a quick fix. Now, the next thing you want to do, it's going to be, since you updated your phone's iOS, you also need to update all the apps as well. So in order for apps to run the way they should on the latest version, they also have a compatible version, which might have not updated yet. So in order to update them, you're going to go into your Apple Store or app store here and then click on your profile and then from there on you see here how many updates you'll need I only have two apps that need update but you might have a lot if you didn't uh, go ahead and automatically update them so click on update and let those apps update and then once you update them so what will happen is and the latest version of those apps compatible on iOS 18 will be installed on it making sure it's not an app issue that you're experiencing that lag on after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting. This time you're going to go to go to the search option here. And what you'll do is take a look at search improvements here. And you're going to turn these setting off just like that. And then along with that, you're going to go to Siri as well. And then you want to turn all of these settings off. And we're going to show you what you're going to do after that. So after you've turned that off, we're going to go ahead and follow this step. First thing is you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So volume up, volume down, then you hold on to the side button just like that. And we're going to wait until the screen goes completely black before we let go of that side button. So just keep on holding that side button and then wait until you see the Apple logo appear at, and that time you'll let go of it and that's basically shutting down the phone software and reloading the code now if you don't get it to work the very first time sometimes it does take a few tries to get the hang of this so just keep trying make sure you quickly press and release the volume up volume down one after another before holding on to this side button until the screen goes completely black and if you do this method a few times again it's completely safe it will not delete any of your data and once you're back on just go ahead and get onto your phone and this time we're going to go back into our settings and then we're going to search and then turn these setting on that we have turned off and then the series same as well and the reason why we're doing is that whenever you make your phone go through a major update it indexes the phone itself so when you turn these off and restart it it also resets that indexing so if it's an indexing issue causing those lag it'll hopefully fix it for you now after you have done that the next thing you want to go ahead and ensure that under your settings go to general and then take a look at your option for iPhone storage and then under the iPhone storage you're gonna to want to ensure that you have at least five gigs if not more available as you can see here I have 237 gigs available what happens is when you do a major update a lot of that space is taken away from the update and if your phone is barely has any space stuff things are not going to perform correctly especially apps because they require a specific amount of space available to properly load and work so i recommend even 10 gigs or so to get the best optimal performance and if you need to go ahead and delete some stuff like any apps that you don't use maybe possibly anything that takes up space like longer format videos your messages anything that you don't need and you can see that they're basically taking up the space and it'll show you right there and you want to go ahead and free up some space now after you have done that the next thing you want to do for experiencing issues is that if you're using any custom widget things like these sometimes they can actually interfere with the performance i recommend is removing them by pressing and holding remove it and then re-add them back in which is fine you can go ahead and add click on that and then you click on edit home screen click on add and then add the widget so if you had something like calendar right and it will go ahead and make sure that it didn't cause any issues especially if you're running a lot of these widgets sometimes these widgets 
or from previous update just needs to be re-added as well. Now, another thing to also consider is if you're using a custom wallpaper. So in your settings, what you want to do is go ahead and click on wallpaper. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click on add. Change it to one of these default wallpapers that are provided. Maybe one of the newer iPhone 18 wallpaper. And then add that and do your customization set as wallpaper as well. Now, the other thing you also want to do is then if you want the other wallpaper, just re-add that back into your custom wallpaper. But generally when it comes to wallpaper, any of these usually work the best. They're optimized for your phone. So those are going to be things that you want to follow in order to fix the lag on your iPhone. And the other big thing we're going to notice is that we're going to wait for, because it is on iOS 18.0, there is bug fixes that are coming out soon. So you want to go ahead and update your phone when they do come out by going to your settings, general, software update, like the way you did it. And that's generally how it works when there's a .0 version that's publicly released. All of the issues get reported and Apple will basically update the phone with the fixes that will help fix the lag. So wait for that update as well. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices, especially on iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.